Hey guys, wanted to give you a walkthrough of the NRS Raku in case you're in the market for a high quality PFD. Now I chose this particular PFD for a couple of reasons. One, I think it is the best inherently buoyant uh, kayak fishing vest out there, especially if you power your yak through a pedal powered system. Now, if you're looking for kayak fishing PFDs for a while, you've likely come across the NRS Chinook. Now the Chinook and the Raku are only different in really one way. Because on the front, they look exactly the same. All of the features are the same. The only difference is where they put that flotation on the back. On the Chinook, there's gonna be this high back float. That's really gonna put a lot of that foam back there. And on the bottom, it's gonna be mesh. But on the Raku, what they do is they take all that foam that they would typically put up top here and they spread it out all the way along the back, leaving ventilation ports as well. So the reason I like this so much, as you can see up here, I own a bona fide P127 over here, a Native Slayer Propel 10. And essentially these are both pedal powered kayaks. So whenever you're sitting in your seat, you're essentially sitting at a recumbent position. And what happens a lot of the times if you have that high back float, uh, it's gonna be pushing up against your neck because you're sitting back that is pushing at the top of your seat because it doesn't quite clear the top of your back and that kind of pushes up and it's really super annoying. And so that's why I went with the Raku. Let me walk you through some of the other features as well. So the Raku comes in two different colors, comes in a charcoal gray, which you see on me. And also if you want a louder presentation, it comes in orange, more of a burnt orange. So the Raku comes in three sizes. You got your extra small slash medium rated for users weighing in between 88 and 132 pounds, leaving you with the large, extra large size and the extra, extra large size rated for users weighing over 90 pounds. The shell made of ripstop nylon, high quality stuff, but it also matches the price tag on this guy. It has a five panel design to help it conform more to your body structure and the weight comes in at 2.1 pounds. All right, now let's get into the fun stuff, all the pockets, all of the tethers, everything on here that relates to kayak fishing so you don't have to keep turning around and grabbing it out of your kayak crate. All right, so look inside here, we got two large zipper pockets on the front. I got some accessory pockets on the outside, which have a little bungee here, stick your hooks. Uh, this little guy right here is a, a little tether. So depending what you had in here, depending if you want to tether something there, I'll show you how I use that in a second. But we open this inside, got some straps up here, in case there's something you want to throw in there. Um, two more accessory pockets with a mesh zipper pocket on the inside. You can also a little tether hook. Got some drain holes on the bottom, which is good in case you go in the water. All right, the right side looks exactly as the same on the inside. However, on the outside here, it's really nice. Got yourself a really handy pair of plier holders or a tool holder, a multi-tool holder. And as you can see here, a little tether down here, which I, in case I drop this from river fishing or whatnot, I'm not gonna lose it. I'm surprised the zippers aren't welded, but I know that over time, the welding has a tendency to come loose. So definitely high quality here. Uh, next, you have a sheath holder. Doesn't come with the NRS Copilot, but I love the Copilot, so it was actually designed for it. This isn't going anywhere. So these are extremely nice as a safety knife, kind of easily clips back in. Moving up a little bit further, you got some reflective accents on the front and also back here uh, up over your shoulder. All right, next you might wonder what this guy is. You might've seen this little tab at the bottom, but essentially this is marketed as a rod holder. So if you take your rod, you take the butt end, stick it through the loop, kind of let it sit, take the top here and Velcro it over. Keep it nice and tight. Say if you're like walking the river or had a couple of bags and need an extra hand, you can put your rod right here. Now, in my opinion, there's a lot of things you could have marketed this as. A rod holder is probably the least valuable in my opinion. Uh, however, I mean, maybe a sunglass holder, maybe a walkie-talkie, which is what I use. I'll show you in a second. One design that I do like, instead of these just kind of flapping everywhere, they made little holders down here. Can I tuck them in, making this nice and tight? And then I take my radio and just shove that in right on the top. I'm good to go. Now, this particular PFD has a performance level of 70. You might be like, what does that mean? Well, US Coast Guard is the maritime law enforcement agency that basically approves or doesn't approve PFDs based off their buoyancy and their use. Now, the old approval system you might be familiar with, types one, two, three, four, and five. Back in 2014, they changed that, however, and now they use performance levels. And they put numbers to them. You got 50, 70, 100, and 150. 50, designed for smooth waters, kayaking, kayak fishing, not for weak swimmers. Then you got performance level 70 like this, uh, look similar to your old type threes and not designed to keep the wear safe for long in uncalm waters. Then you have performance level 100. These are similar to your old type ones. These are more for open water, light waves. And then you got your performance level 150s. These are gonna be your offshore deep water jackets. Now in my research, I read about 30 to 40 non five star reviews to see if there's anything out there that, that would be a huge con on the NRS Raku. And to be honest with you, 
all of the non five star ratings were simply personal preferences. Oh, it's too bulky. It's too this. It didn't arrive on time. Had nothing to do with the design itself. In my opinion, they don't make them better to this. So if you're interested in a only cry once, what I mean by that, you only have to buy it once and you're going to have it for a very long time PFD, then I'll throw the link in the description below. So if you're looking for a PFD and you haven't quite landed on one, maybe you're interested in inflatables. Well, I did a video called the ultimate guide, the kayak fishing PFDs. You can you check that out? Right.